Miami is a major city in the southeastern United States and part of the largest metropolitan area in Florida. Part of the South Florida region. It's 20 miles from Fort Lauderdale, 68 miles from West Palm Beach, 106 miles from Naples, Florida, and 156 miles from Key West. It is famous for its gay pride event White Party Miami which is a n n u a l 40. districts in town, downtown, Omni, Brickell the cultural, financial, and commercial center of South Florida, home to major museums, parks, education centers, banks, company headquarters, courthouses, government offices, theaters, shops, and many of the oldest buildings in the city. North, Midtown, Overtown, Design District, Little Haiti. Upper East Side This vibrant section of the city includes the hip, artsy design district, fast-growing midtown, the immigrant community of Little Haiti, and the historic Mimo district of modern architecture in the Upper East Side. West and South, Little Havana, West Miami, Coral Way, Coconut Grove, Kendall These neighborhoods have some of Miami's biggest attractions, from the Cuban culture of Little Havana to the lush vegetation and history of Coconut Grove. Although tourists generally consider Miami Beach to be part of Miami, it is its own municipality. Located on a barrier island east of Miami and Biscayne Bay, it is home to a large number of beach resorts and was one of the most popular spring break party destinations in the world. Although Miami is the second most populous city in Florida, the Miami metropolitan area is the largest in the state. Due to being sandwiched in by the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Everglades wetland area to the west, the Miami metropolitan area is a lengthy 110 miles, 180 kilometers, north to south but never more than 20 miles, 32 kilometers, east to west. History Flagler's Railroad sparked a wave of expansion in areas such as Miami Beach, Homestead, and Cutler. Soon after the railroad was built, the Overseas Highway was created. This highway connected the Florida Keys to the mainland. Growth and progress in Miami continued through World War I as well as into the mid-1920s. A devastating hurricane in 1926 halted Miami's growth and temporarily put the city, as well as Miami Beach, in a recession. It was the city's support of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal that helped the city rebuild. Roosevelt almost lost his life, however, when Giuseppe Zangara attempted to assassinate Roosevelt when he came to Miami to thank the city for its support of the New Deal. When a German U boat sank a U.S. tanker off Florida's coast, the majority of South Florida was converted into military headquarters for the remainder of World War II. The Army's World War II legacy in Miami is a school designed for anti-U-boat warfare. Climate, because of its low latitude Miami has a semi-tropical monsoon climate. There are two seasons in Miami, a warm and dry season from November through mid-April, and a hot and wet season from May through October. The wetter summer months of June-September will see most daytime highs in the upper 80s Fahrenheit with lows in the low to mid-70s with high humidity. The coldest winter months from December through March have highs in the upper 70s and lows near 60 degrees Fahrenheit, with sunny and dry weather with often very low humidity. At times winter can be quite dry with water restrictions. Miami has the largest Latin American population outside of Latin America. English however remains the predominant language. Spanish is a language often used for day-to-day -day discourse in many places, although English is the language of preference, especially when dealing with business and government. Some locals do not speak English, but this is usually centered among shops and restaurants in residential communities, and is rarely the case in large tourist areas or the downtown district. Even when encountering a local who does not speak English, you can easily find another local to help with translation if needed, since most of the population is fluently bilingual. In certain neighborhoods, such as Little Havana and Hialeah, most locals will address a person first in Spanish and then in English. Spanglish, a mixture of English and Spanish, is a somewhat common occurrence, but less so than in the American Southwest, with bilingual locals switching between English and Spanish mid-sentence and occasionally replacing a common English word for its Spanish equivalent.
Haitian Creole is another language heard primarily in northern Miami. It is common for a person to hear a conversation in Creole when riding public transportation or sitting at a restaurant. Many signs and public announcements are in English, Spanish and Creole because of Miami's diverse immigrant population. Unlike Spanish, Haitian Creole is generally centered among the Haitian neighborhoods in northern Miami. Most Haitians are more adapted to English than their Hispanic neighbors. Portuguese and French are other languages that may be encountered in Miami. These languages tend to be spoken mainly around tourist areas. Most speakers of these languages speak English, as well. The simplest way to get a response in English is to use the approach rule, where most locals will respond only in the language spoken to, unless they are not able to speak it. This rule can be used on anyone whether or not their first language is Spanish, English or any other language. By Play Miami International Airport, ICAO. KMIA is located just west of the city in an unincorporated suburban area. It's an important hub for traffic between Europe, North America and Latin America. The international traffic makes MIA a large and congested place. Be sure to allow extra time when departing MIA, particularly if flying internationally, as you may face an hour-long line just to check your bags. Curbside check-in is an excellent idea. International airlines that fly transatlantic include British Airways and Virgin Atlantic. If you are approaching or leaving MIA via the Airport Expressway, Florida State Road 112, beware of the at-grade railroad crossing on the ramps connecting the expressway to the airport terminals. Normally such crossings are grade separated, but this one sits directly east of one of the runways. Thus, be prepared for the possibility of a 10 to 15 minute delay if a train happens to be there at the same time as you. The predominant carrier at MIA is American Airlines, which has direct flights to most major cities in the Americas and several European cities as well. European, Latin American and Caribbean carriers are well represented at MIA. The airport has no non-stop service to Asia, Africa or Asenia, with the exception of Qatar Airways, which offers non-stop service to Doha, Royal Air Maroc with non-stop service to Casablanca, and El Al, with non-stop service to Tel Aviv. The recent construction of two new terminals at MIA has helped with the airport's passenger capacities, as well as the efficiency in going through customs and baggage claim. MIA also has several restaurants, ranging from local chains such as La Caretta to national chains such as Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King and Starbucks. Be aware that some restaurants serve beer, wine and or cocktails. If you drink too much the airlines can refuse your boarding on a plane, MIA also has several retail stores, including several magazine stands and bookstores, including a Borders. Other retail stores include, but are not limited to, Brookstone, KB Toys and Ron John Surf Shop. There is also a hotel connected to the airport. Money can be exchanged for US dollars at the airport. Wi-Fi is available throughout the terminal you can opt for time-limited ad-sponsored access for free or pay for unrestricted access. ATMIA. Public transportation includes a free shuttle to the nearby Tri-Rail station, as well as to Metrorail 41. Your best option is to take a taxi from the airport or rent a car, depending on where you're staying at, if you need to get around parts of Miami with no nearby Metrorail stations. MIA's car rental facilities have now all been centralized into a very large garage known as the Rental Car Center, which can be accessed directly from the terminal via a free automated tram called the MIA Mover. FLL's facilities are located in the parking garage adjacent to the terminals, 